What is going on, guys? Panther here, your coach at the Carolina Clay Fables, bringing you week five of the LBC League. And uh, we are playing Brady Active and his Iowa Haluchas here this week. And Brady's got a really scary team. You see the six moms he decided to bring up on the screen here. Uh, he decided to leave the Mega Mall while and the Torn T at home here this week, uh, which is very understandable. We'll have a Landorus and a um, uh, Rotom, uh, Rotom Heat. Um, but uh, he's got a scary team nonetheless. He has slow bro, which get, really gives my team some problems. Um, Zero Aura, Roserade, Crocodile, Talonflame, and the Mian, uh, Mian Xiao. I about said Mian Thu. Uh, I played too much Little Cup. Uh, so on my side, I have a Choice Scarf Star Raptor, uh, a defensive Sylveon, a bulkier uh, Taunt. Um, Dark Z, I think I'm Dark Z. Either Dark Z or Dragon Z. Check it real quick. Hydreigon. Uh, let's see. We'll be see week five. Yep, Dark Z, Hydreigon with Taunt Roost and uh, Earth Power. Um, actually, defensive Landers with Rocky Helmet for that Mega Mall while. Of course, my uh, rocks are on that as well. A big SD. Uh, Mega Glade, which is a huge threat to uh, Brady's team, if you uh, cannot tell from the screen over there. And um, I said defensive Sylveon already, but that is my last mom that I have. Uh, and he's got the Zeraora, which uh, Zeraora is pretty uh, pretty good against my team as well. Uh, actually, that's why I kind of bought the Scarf Star Raptor. It's just kind of a, an emergency uh, answer for that. Slowbro, we know that thing's going to be bulky. Um, probably physically defensive to help check the landers and the Mega, Mega Glade. It's a pretty annoying for my team. Um, Roserade. Roserade has a fantastic offensive matchup um, against my boys here. So I've got to figure out a way to take care of that thing. I have Hydreigon for it, but of course that thing gets access to Dazzling Gleam. And uh, me, and my, me and my team prep server have actually been talking a lot about that um, before the battle, how I need to scout for that. So we'll have to see if that actually uh, pans out here in the battle. Uh, he has a Crocodile, which uh, is probably going to be bulkier to uh, help check the Landorus uh, as well. Uh, get his rocks up. That's his rocker. Talonflame's probably going to be just the SD set. It's a good win con for him, especially with the six that I brought. I didn't bring the ride on, so a um, bit unfortunate. And the end shall is probably like a Choice Scarf user, if I had to guess, because uh, it's it, it's a Scarfer that outpaces all of my potential Scarfers. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Don't want to waste any more of your time here. Um, so he's got a couple of different leads he could go with on his uh, team. He could lead with the Scarf Mian Fichau. Mian, Mian Xiao. Crooked Owl just get up his rocks or like uh, Rosa Raid spike up. Um, so I felt like Star Raptor gave me the best lead out of all of those. If he leads with me and Shao, I can uh, make the switch out into the Sylveon Scout. But he does lead with the Crook. Obviously, if this thing's Scarf, I can uh, I can outspeed speed it with um, with that. But um, this reveals that he is more defensive. So I'm just going to go ahead and U-turn out and get some momentum here. Go into my Landorus in case he wants to uh, knock off or something like that. Go ahead and get the Intimidate off on him as uh, he's just going to uh, stealth rock up here at this point in the in the match so <clears throat> so he's got his rocks up and i actually did not bring i did bring defog on uh rotom so i have to see if we get the opportunity to uh to do that i'm going to go ahead and rock up here because he has no hazard removal and um, that's pretty obvious uh to go for that play is just go ahead and throw your rocks up he has a talent flame we don't want no part of that so um yeah, I've got a pretty uh, pretty safe switch in Hydreigon. I think the Ice Beam's pretty obvious, though. So I actually decided to go out into Sylveon to scout and see what he wants to do. As he goes for the Blizzard, that's pretty scary because, uh, yeah, that's that's Blizzard. So I think it's pretty unlikely that he's going to go for it again here on this turn as I, I'm going to go out into my Hydreigon. I want to see if he wants to throw off a Toxic on Sylveon or if he wants to go for, like, Psyshock or, or what. He actually goes out into the Roserade here. And um, I get greedy. I get I get very greedy because I have the opportunity to knock this thing out with Dark Z and uh, don't even attempt to scout for this Dazzling Gleam. I make one of the worst plays I think I've ever made. And uh, I stay in and lose my Hydreigon, which immediately, immediately, immediately makes that Slowbro that much more of a threat. So already playing from the back here. Now I can bring out Star Raptor, and there is no reason for me to not click Brave Bird. His flying resist is Zeraora. So I'm uh, just going to go ahead and click that. Um, 
that young brave bird I don't have a great switch into this I want to get rid of it I'm very I, I, I'm not comfortable leaving that thing alive and uh, I'm not going to try to over predict against it and it pays off there for us because we're able to kill the Rosa Raid there so he's going to go into a slow bro now on this turn and um, Sylveon still can take this thing on pretty effectively Hyper Voice is still doing a lot to, uh, to it so he's going to pop a big blizzard here and he can next so I like the heat I like the heat from Brady not going to lie uh, but we've got to keep Sylveon rather healthy because the Mian Xiao turns into that much more of a problem if I let anything happen to it uh, but I can afford at this point just to uh, stay and throw off a big Hyper Voice and see what happens so I'm going to do that. Uh, we take it down to a little bit under half. He actually misses the Toxic there, which would have been very big to have on my Sylveon. Now, I do have the Heal Bell. I am just Mono um, mono Hyper Voice with Heal Bell, Wish, and Protect. Because uh, I felt like uh, Sylveon could just pass around on his team. Um, so I'm going to go far for the Hyper Voice again here as he actually gets knocked out with the crit. So very unfortunate there for Brady. Because uh, that, that changed the dynamics of this game quite a bit here. That immediately eliminated his Landorus check and his uh, Mega Glalade check. So, I uh, want to switch out here in case he is like Ground Z. Um, actually, I, pr I protect first and scout the Z move. I'm sorry. I, I scout the Z move. He actually goes for the Iron Tail. So, that, that tells me he may even be the Stelium Z as well. So, I'm going to go out to my Landorus here now because I want to get the Intimidate drop off on him. I want to leave my Rotom nice and healthy for that Zoraora or the Talon Flame. So, uh, Landorus is looking a bit more expendable here. Uh, so, I can just go out into that, and um, he really does not have a great switch in. Now, he fires off the Mean Look, which is uh, some more heat. I don't know what he was looking to trap exactly. Maybe the Sylveon, maybe trap it in uh, with it and just fire off um, this big Life Orb Iron Tail as he reveals right here. Uh, he is minus one uh, now at this point with the Intimidate, but that thing still would have hurt Sylveon quite a bit, as we can just EQ and mop up this Crocodile here. So, down goes the Crocodile, and uh, we have our uh, our Landorus in here now. Uh, he goes out directly into Zora, which is just screaming HP ice to me. So, I'm going to go out and go out into my Rotom Heat. And um, he's going to do just that. He is going to uh, go for the HP ice here, and uh, we eat that up, as a matter of fact. So I uh, don't want to play around with this thing at all. So just going to go ahead and go for that overheat. Um, I want to uh, try to get as much damage off on something as I can if you wanted to stay in uh, with the Zoraora. This doesn't, I think this is like 69% or something like that to Zoraora. But he goes out into Mian Xiao, which uh, is not a great switch in. Um, as you can see and uh, yeah that thing drops so um, it's it's my Rotom's minus two now he wants to take this opportunity to go out in the Talon Flame to try to set up I'm presuming uh, so I'm just gonna Volt Switch out here if he wants to set up he's gonna have to take a uh, minus two Volt Switch if he wants to Roost up then it does not allow him to um, it does not allow him to get completely back up to four to get his Gale Wings if he does want a Z so going to be able to do that. I'm going to be able to switch out here now and go into Landorus and um, get the uh, nice minus one off on it. And um, now this thing has to decide if he wants to SD up on me or if he wants to switch out into the Zorora or what exactly he wants to do. He's just going to stay in and click Brave Bird here. And I do have Rocky Helmet, so that's uh, that's A-OK -okay with me because I'm going to be able to take that quite nicely. Hit him with the Rocky Helmet and then actually go for the Stone Edge. And uh, we do not miss. We do connect. And that's going to be more than enough to knock out this Talon Flame. As uh, he is down to his uh, last Mon in the Zerora now. And uh, Zerora is going to come in here. Take a round of Stealth Rock. So he's taking a couple rounds here at this point. He's going to go for the HP Ice. And um, he's going to knock out my Landorus. Now, the last thing I'm actually thinking of is uh, the choice scarf here at this point so I'm going to go out into my star raptor to pick this thing off actually uh, you know if it's Z he's gonna knock out my Glade same thing if he's like uh, 5 tanium Z for my Rotom um, so I, I go out into star raptor thinking I would surely kill this uh, I did kill it with double edge um, but he's actually scarf HPI so he does pick up another kill and it does cost me a point of differential here but um, 
that just confirms now that I can go out into the ghoul aid and just click the close combat because that kills a whole pack of Zororas. Um, at the range that it's at. So he's going to go for the Scarf HP Ice. And that does uh, pretty much nothing to Big Glalade. And Glalade's going to just fire off that close combat and wrap this one up. So Hexy game here to say the least. We got very fortunate here on my part. Um, rewarded for a bad play, honestly, with the Rosa Raid as well. So I'm very sorry there to Brady um, for the Hyper Voice crit on the Slowbro. I don't know if he had Slack off. I don't know if he went for it there. Uh, on that turn or not, but that thing would definitely would have been a whole lot more annoying if uh, if he did have the slack off and it was left alive. I probably would have had that SD'd up with the Glade just to kind of break through it there at that point. Um, but nonetheless, uh, good game to you, Brady. And um, yeah, maybe we'll get the opportunity to meet again if if, uh, if we both make playoffs. So I am four and one now. We play Moxie next week. We have three games left uh, here in the LBC before playoffs begin. So hopefully we're able to finish strong. Uh, we are um, pretty well into the playoff race right now, but I would really like to uh, achieve that first round by to uh, to have that, that round one break, of course, and automatically make semis. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the uh, battle vids up for the LBC so far this season. Thank you so much for watching and for your support, um, and we'll catch you guys next time.